the real-time video during a typical workday of the manufacturing plant. In a typical workday, everyone in the camera production department puts on an electrostatic discharge ESD blue smock, and then puts on either a wrist or foot strap, and then heads towards the dual footwear and wrist tester machine. When they pass, they enter their initials in the log sheet over the testing equipment. They start to work as directed by the production manager. Before they start to work at their workstation or work cell, they need to have either a picture of the final assembly, pictures of the needed parts before and after assembly, or they have work instructions and a wiring diagram. The justification for the pictures is that WTI has no need for multiple work instructions in various languages. They will continue until their tasks are completed. They go back to the production manager and get a new assignment as needed. The camera production department personnel have been cross-trained in many of the cells, so they can do many different things within the work cells as needed. Plant equipment, machinery, special tooling, and related documents used in workstations or work cells. The following is a partial list of the main machines used by WTI's production department. Wire stripper and cutting machine. Used to get very accurate and repeatable lengths of wires of various gauges. Crimping machine. Used for crimping wires to pins for insertions into header components. Aquas cleaning system machine. Used to wash and rinse away the solder flux on the through hole printed circuit boards or PCBs. A user manual is available on top of the equipment. Screen printer. Used for laying down a solder paste for the surface mount parts. A user manual is readily available. Surface mount technology machine or SMT. Used to lay down the surface mount components with 99 to 100 percent accuracy. A user manual is readily available. Reflow oven, used to melt the Rojas solder to the surface mount components. A user manual is readily available. Support slash test equipment and relevant documents used in workstations. Most of the camera production department personnel use WTI birth certificate. Solo Pro and Solo Terra uses Form 008 Revision A. AIS Series and Sidewinder uses Form 5000 Revision A. Ambervision uses Form 5090 Revision B. Our electronic technician uses a variety of electrical equipment including multimeter, arbitrary wave generator, digital oscilloscope, and twin power supply generator, plus some model specific testing equipment. All of the above equipment has its specific use including working instructions or schematics depending on camera model to be tested. Manufacturing work and quality assurance testing in progress. Each of the power modem, power supply, and heater PCBs has a 100% inspection performed after manufacturing and cleaning. Any piece that is found to be non-conforming is corrected by the personnel who made the specific part. A sample of each lot of back plate and lens plate is water tested for leaks before assembly into the cameras. Each camera is electrically connected to ensure operation. A sampling of each lot of camera tubes with electrical connections inside the tube is water tested for leaks. After the burn-in period and the water testing, the camera is focused and then put into the sun shield. A description of the process and documents that will provide and maintain your quality system. WTI is guided through the quality management system, QMS, by using the ISO 9001-2000 system. This QMS has been around since 1994 and has just been approved in 2008. 
the ISO 9001-2000 only requires a few procedures. These are as follows. Quality Manual WTI-1000 Revision E Corrective and Preventative Action Request Procedure WTI-2030 Revision B Control of Nonconforming Material or Product Procedure WTI-2040 Revision B Internal Audit Procedure WTI-2050 Revision C Control of Documents Procedure WTI-2070 Revision C When and how are corrective action reports generated? The corrective and preventative action system is designed to establish and specify systemic steps to corrective and or preventative action in the resolution of product and quality related problems. The system is designed to analyze and resolve quality problems, create solutions that prevent recurrence or occurrence of nonconformance or potential nonconformance and document the continuous improvements made within Wireless Technology Incorporated. This procedure applies to the identifying conditions that will prevent or has a potential to prevent the compliance adverse to the quality management system within Wireless Technology Incorporated. What quality system documents accompany the product throughout the manufacturing cycle? The birth certificate. The birth certificate is a description of the inspections and tests necessary to ensure conformance with DOT specifications. A description of statistical sampling and testing required by the quality management system. Currently, WTI uses three statistical sampling plans depending on the testing requirements. These plans are as follows. Zero acceptance number, C equals zero sampling plans. ANSI slash ASQ, Z1.4-2003, Sampling Procedures and Tables for Inspection by Attributes. ANSI slash ASQ, Z1.9-2003, Sampling Procedures and Tables for Inspection by variables for percent non-conforming. My name is Hal Campbell and I'm the quality manager and ISO 9001-2000 management representative for Wireless Technology Incorporated. I've helped certify three companies in ISO 9001-2000. As a quality manager, my job functions are, are very varied. I initiate and maintain quality surveys I initiate preventative and corrective actions. I'm in charge of quality surveys for the company with all the vendors that we deal with. My job is to design and develop a quality implementation program for all the new employees so that they have an idea of what our quality policy is for our ISO 9000 certification. I develop standards and methods for inspection and evaluation of all incoming and outgoing product. I also inspect production before it hits the customers to make sure it's the best quality that it can possibly be before the customer gets it. We also enter and maintain a database on every camera that we produce from the production birth certificate that is presented to me every morning from the last night's current production. We also water test the, our product. We water test the back plates and the lens plates after manufacturing to make sure there are no leaks on the components and then when they're put together within the camera tubes we test the whole tubes themselves just to make sure that the units are watertight. I also perform quality reviews on the actual product themselves to make sure that the ISO 9000 standards are upheld. I'm also the team leader for the quality internal audits. That means that we audit all the things that we claim that we're supposed to be doing, that we actually do do what we claim we're going to do in the written instructions. 